What's up guys and welcome back to Planet Coaster. If you're enjoying this series, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you haven't already, it would be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys would have seen a much different looking coaster than the one that you see here today. That's because, once again, thanks to your help, we revamped the entire thing on stream. Just like last time, if you missed the stream, be sure to check out my second channel, 2G2. You can catch up on every stream VOD ever. But today, obviously the ride is not done. It still looks kind of bare bones and we have a mine entrance just floating in midair. So we're gonna be addressing that today, adding a, a pretty, pretty good sized mountain over here just to kind of fill the space and also to make the ride more enjoyable. A little bit better to look at because it does look kind of weird. But dude, the prestige on this thing is insane for us. Some of you Planet Coaster aficionados could probably do quite a bit better um, but 1048 is the prestige for the bone breaker that's kind of the name we decided to go with because while we're not trying to like murder the guests you're almost guaranteed to at least break one bone while riding this ride that's just kind of the way it is right so i think that's actually our first coaster in the entire park that's over 1000 for the prestige yeah this one's real bad now but it's just because it's starting to get pretty old so before we get going on this mountain we need to address the elephant in the room that is our rides keep breaking down and there's almost nothing i can do to stop it except for one thing the only thing we haven't tried to do yet which is train our mechanics we've we've trained them up to level two now but i'm hopeful that if we if we max these bad boys out maybe then we won't have so many breakdowns but we're playing on the harder difficulty, not just hard. So that kind of means rides are just more prone to breaking down. It is what it is. So right off the bat here, we're gonna go through and train all these guys up one mo again. You can see we're still struggling financially. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Also, we're gonna have to bump this up to probably like 175 so that these dudes and dudettes don't start complaining about their pay. They want to be paid what they're worth. Also, you know who you are? Person that let me know we had a, a mechanic working in the South USA zone of the park, which doesn't have any rides. Come to think of it, I don't even really know why I added a mechanic out here. I guess just to repair the ATMs if they were to ever break down. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to remove this guy from Southern USA. We're going to put him on the Central usa work roster and now that we have that done actually let me hop back in there we need to edit the central usa roster to just simply include the atms again i don't know why i did it the way that i did it initially but this will work much much better oh also intensity has just broke down that's that's cool that is cool not what i was going to say but that's cool um, the Western work roster currently does not include our new coaster. And if this thing breaks down, the mechanics just straight up aren't going to care. So we're going to include that thing. That way, when it does inevitably break, we'll at least have someone nearby to fix it. Something else that I think we should probably do is make the queue for the bone breaker quite a bit shorter. It doesn't need to be this long and it's taking up like prime real estate for another flat ride. We only have one flat ride in the Western zone, unless you count the track ride as a flat ride, then sure. But I think just to just to make this nice and simple for us, if we hold down delete, people are gonna be mad about this, aren't they? I'm gonna pause. They're still gonna get mad, but I'm gonna pause and we're just gonna straight up delete this entire thing all the way over to there let me make sure i didn't delete something we didn't want to looks like we're good so we'll select this grid get rid of that thing make sure we're using a q path uh we have negative 2500 bucks because i closed our best performing coaster that was a bit of an oversight uh, i'm gonna fast forward and we'll fix the queue up get it open back up and everything will be great maybe you know what else we could do for money? Oh, we have two challenges done now. Achieve a monthly profit from coasters of 3,500 bucks. 
I think this coaster alone, yeah, last month's profit, 38. With just the one coaster, dude, we got that. Donezo. Uh, the other one, achieve a scenery rating of 240. That's 2,000 more dollars. Look at that. Easy come up. We're up four Gs now, like it's nothing. But let's get started. I'm gonna leave the game paused for a little while, just so we don't lose all the money that we just made. And we're gonna get started on this mountain. First thing that we're gonna do is finish retexturing the outskirts of the western zone. So we're just gonna bring that around like so and try to connect it up to what we had before. That looks pretty good to me. Now we just have to fill in the center bit. Oh, whoops. Let me back that up a little bit. Kinda went over top of the path there. Now for this mountain. Obviously, this is going to be the entrance to the mine shaft that this ride is supposed to be going through. So I think we're just going to start bringing this up as high as we can. Oh, we have auto paint on. Disgusting. Let's go sampled. That'll at least keep the, the paint texture that we were using before. Also, quick spoiler, it's going to look pretty bad initially. We're going to have to do a lot of smoothing, a lot of reshaping to make this thing not look so phallic uh so to do that we're just gonna start bringing it out this direction and i have it so the tunnels should stay around the track but there are a couple of areas that i want to keep exposed i don't want to be completely covered you know what i'm saying so we're gonna keep bringing this out a little ways this bit right here i want to stay open i want that to be on the outside of the mountain and then probably, probably same thing over here. Do we leave both the top and the bottom open though? Or do we close it off? Maybe let's bring this, just the bottom portion out slightly. There we go, that's not too bad. And then that will be another sort of mine entrance opening right there. I did also want to add these doors. These, um, I, I wanted to call them an animatronic door, but that's not... That's not right. It's like a like a triggerable object, right? These big doors, these double doors that kind of swing open. I, I wanted to add them up here. We might have enough space for it yet. We'll worry about that later though. That's not super important for right now. But I think rough outline, rough shape, that's not bad. Again, it, it, it can be better and it will be better, but just getting going here, I don't think that's too terrible. So let's go ahead and unpause things. We'll hit play for a little bit. Let's fast forward because something that I've added, and actually something that you guys saw, we should have all seen in um, in the stream, was a $44,000 old mineshaft decoration that we downloaded from the Steam Workshop. So whoever you are, if you happen to see this and you, and you made this masterpiece, thank you, because I will most definitely be using it here. However, $44,000? That's a bit steep. I don't think we'll ever have that kind of money in this park, uh, just like at one time. So what I did off camera is I took that and edited it so that it's much cheaper now. I got rid of a bunch of rock, but come to find out that wasn't what made this scenery object so expensive. It was the gold. The gold that they had in the front was actually like, there's a there's a gold chest that you can get that's a lot of money. And then there's a, a like gilded jester statue type thing that's what the the creator of this was using to look like gold and instead i found something else on the steam workshop these little gold crystals so i just swapped those around and now it's five thousand dollars instead of forty four thousand dollars a bit more doable a bit more attainable but we are going to have to wait on fast forward for a little while we still only have 35 100 bucks. If another ride breaks down, dude, it, it's never happening. Okay, we're almost to 4,000 though. We got this. We got this, no sweat. You know what? I should probably just put this down in a flat area too so we don't accidentally screw something up. And then we can use advanced move and, and really get it into the proper position. I don't think this is a bad looking spot for it. We've still got a, enough clearance on the backside here. I'll have to like bring the mountain out a little bit. We still have rides breaking down. Awesome, cool. And then I'll have to move a couple of rocks over here just to make it look good. It's it's a bit sad though that we don't have cheese. 
Okay, it's just non-stop today. Um, but it is a bit sad that we don't... <laughs> That we don't have a uh, terrain texture color that is similar to these orange rocks. Because if we could just respray the entire mountain the same color as those rocks, it would look 12 times better. But unfortunately, we don't have that. Uh, we don't have that as an option. So I'm going to shut up. We're going to place that thing down. I'll tweak this a little bit. And then we'll start bringing this mountainside out just a little bit further. Kind of fill in the gaps. I would say that this is coming along very, very nicely. I think we did a pretty decent job kind of like integrating this mine shaft entrance into the side of the mountain. Could be better, obviously could be better. Actually, I wanted to see, let me fast forward again until the next car comes. I wanna see how close the car gets to these rocks. Cause I, I just moved it while the game was paused. There weren't even any trains rolling. Let's see, here one comes now. Plenty of space. Actually, plenty of space. I was a bit worried on that. And then this one shouldn't be a big deal whatsoever. All right. So, next step, you can kind of see here in the front, I was messing around with roughening it up a little bit, trying to make it look less smooth and, and more like an actual mountain. So, we're just going to continue doing that with the roughen tool. Um, but I am going to change the intensity to right around 50%. I feel like that's going to be a little bit better. And then we'll bump this up to maybe like maybe like a 40-foot radius. There we go. Yeah, this, this should make it look a little bit more realistic. But I will have to like reshape the, the backside and also the sides of the mountain. That's looking better already. A bit more organic feeling, you know? Now we're going to move to painting change the intensity to max, max size as well. And we're just gonna kind of paint the entire thing, this rock texture. Like I said before, I really wish we could go with like an orange color rock surface for this mountain. I think it would blend a lot better, but we just don't have that as an option. I don't know, even though it's not orange like the other rocks, it's looking pretty nice. We are gonna have to do the same thing though for inside the caves. So we're gonna drop this down to like 16 feet. 16 feet? You guys already know the deal. I don't even have to say it at this point. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go around here. Let me change my camera mode too. And just make sure the entirety of the inside of these caves is retextured to look more like this this sort of coarse rock. And then we'll probably do just a sprinkle of this other rock texture kind of on the outside so it's not all the same. And anywhere like this, oh my, that was kind of scary. Anywhere like this where this section of the track can see this section of the track, I'm just going to kind of push the terrain around ever so slightly to make it more visible. I really like that about this ride. The fact that you can come around this bend and maybe you'll see another car, you know, go in the opposite direction of you. I just think that's, it's kind of neat. I'm thinking that ought to about do it for the terrain modification needed for this mountain. Of course, if you guys have any suggestions for this or anything else in the park, please do leave it down in the comments below. This entire park thus far has really been a group collaboration between myself and you guys. So I really do appreciate all the feedback and yes, I read every single comment, even the even the bad ones, even the bad ones. These are the doors that I was talking about using earlier. So I think I want to put these right at the top of this spiral descent where the where the trains coming out wrap me out. Can't say that I've ever used too many like triggerable objects like this, but I'm down to try it out. I gotta wait till they close again. Okay, it doesn't look super good up here but we can of course move them around and then i'm gonna have to figure out how to get the thing to trigger when the coaster's almost at the top of the hill because they yeah they're gonna go right through that thing that doesn't look super good either i'm also thinking the door should probably open the other way so let's just rotate that around see if it oh i've got to go gotta go back in the side entrance over here is that going to be better? Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, that makes so much more sense that way. Okay, so I know we want it to activate on a trigger. The only problem is, I still don't know. Wow, 1096 now. Dang, 6% of people say, I wish I had a priority pass. Go buy one. Dang, brokies. Okay, I'm going to pause just so we don't get too distracted here. But we should have some way to add a... Oh, triggers right there. Make trigger sequence. Is it just... Is it that easy? All we need to do is basically like drag it to the top of the hill. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Oh, probably not right at the top though. We're going to want it like... Like maybe right there. It's difficult to maneuver around in here. And I want to add something on the bottom too. So you can't see right underneath the dang door. But that is our trigger now done. Correct? And then we just connect this door to the trigger. All we have to do now is just wait for the next car to come through. Oh, that's mint. And it's not going to close on them. First try, baby. We love it. We love it. Okay, yeah, now I'm just going to try to fill the bottom of the door in with something. Maybe even just like a, a wall. Yeah, that is so much better. And it'll match our coaster station, which is pretty cool. Put another one of those right yonder. And that is that. Here comes the next car. Opens right on time. Shuts shortly after. I like it. Oh no, it's first breakdown. Wait, wow, he was on it. Like Blue Bonnet, my man, Caesar. What a legend, look at, dude, the guests are stoked. Glad we have Caesar hanging around. Got that thing repaired at a moment's notice. But that is not the only thing, those doors are not the only thing that I wanna have happening on the inside of this mountain. I think it'd be really cool to have a section of like animatronics doing some stuff in one area, maybe a waterfall in another with some additional like gold and, and rocks and things going on in there. We need more for sure, but I think, I think we're gonna be done on the inside of the mountain for today. Those things are pretty costly, and as you guys can tell, we don't exactly have a lot of money to work with at the moment. But another thing that I think would look really good in some areas, not all, like this top turn section here, I don't think that my idea would look good up there. But we need to we need to kind of make almost like these same mine shaft supports. And actually, I might even just steal that one from there. Oh no, I can't. It's it's a rancher's gateway. It's the same as this, so it'll have the little deals on the side. I'll make one. It'll be fine. Uh, but basically, I want to create sort of like a mineshaft scaffolding, kind of following the curvature of the track around this area, and then also around uh, the bottom area over here. I just think that that would look really, really nice. But it's going to take me a few minutes, so I will see you guys in just a sec. <laughs>
I'm feeling like this is one of those things where in my mind it looks great, but now that it's here in front of me, I'm just not really sure about it. It's especially this one. And I think it's just because of the elevation change that was needed. Whereas this side actually doesn't look too bad. I kind of I kind of like this one. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to obviously leave it for now. I'll sleep on it, see if I can come up with a better idea in my dreams. But for right now, I don't think it's terrible. It's just not what I was hoping for. It's not what I envisioned. You know what I'm saying? Let's give it a ride. Let's give it a quick ride. We'll see what we think of it at the end of things. Of course, if you caught the stream, you would have seen this several times, especially over my potty break. But we'll just give it we'll give it one more one more ride here. Okay, it doesn't look that part doesn't look bad from in the car. I'm just I'm just going to be quiet. We'll just enjoy it for what it is thus far. Okay, I, I still kind of love it. What are these people doing in line if they have to go to the bathroom? Brother, you walked right past like three bathrooms on your way to the queue. You know, he's probably been stuck in the queue for a while. I guess it's not necessarily his fault. I don't really know how long this episode's gonna turn out to be just because I likely ended up cutting out a lot of the terrain modification and, and whatnot, but Unfortunately, I do think that's where we're going to have to wind things down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.